Shalom, my beloved. I do not know whom you are, but the Lord said to declare to you that he will fight for you. He said to declare to you this scripture in Exodus chapter 14, verses 14. He said, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I don't know the battles you have been fighting even from your mother's womb to this present time. I don't know the battles you have been fighting in that marriage. I don't know the battles you have been fighting in that relationship. I don't know the battles you have been fighting in the business world, in the career world, in that country where you went to seek for greener pastures. Beloved, the Lord said, I shall announce to you this scripture. No matter who is pursuing your life, you know, before this scripture came forth, the Bible told us in that Exodus chapter 14, verses 18, how Pharaoh rose up again and began to pursue the children of Israel. Some of you have prayed, whenever you pray about that battle, the battle will just stop and all of a sudden it will resurface again. This was the case of the children of Israel. They were in captivity for years, suffering, toiling, laboring for Pharaoh. And one day the Lord delivered them from the problem. They thought the Wahala is over. And all of a sudden, Pharaoh resurfaced again with his battle, with his problem to pull them back into captivity. They were so afraid of the Egyptians. And then the Lord spoke up. The Lord said to them, you do not need to fear. With your own eyes today, you shall see the downfall of your enemies. I will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And that is what God is saying to somebody today. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know who is fighting you. I don't know if the person is fighting you from the bloodline. I don't know where the person is standing upon. I don't know the altars that are backing them up. But I want you to agree with me in prayer now. Say, oh Lord, I believe this word today. Indeed, I am waiting for you. Therefore, Lord, arise. Arise. Lord, arise. As the God to whom vengeance belongs to and begin the judgment of my enemies today. Begin the judgment of my enemies now. Begin the judgment of my enemies now. Every Pharaoh pursuing after my life to mess me up again. Every enemy of my destiny pursuing after my life again to mess me up again. That enemy that always resurface every month, every week, every hour, every second, sir, that they see good things happening for me. Lord, as I begin to pray now, Arise and strike that enemy dead. I believe your word today. Lord, let that enemy be judged. 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 Right now by your power. 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 Let the obituary be announced. Let the obituary be announced. Let the obituary be announced. The same way the obituary of Pharaoh was announced in less than 24 hours that dead bodies were found on the seashore. Lord, let the enemies uh, that are pursuing after this was uh, to destroy them uh, be dead bodies uh, between now and the next 24 hours uh, and let the obituary be announced in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, I pray for you. May anyone pursuing after your life day and night May the Lord Almighty do to that man what he did to Pharaoh and his horsemen. And may the dead bodies of those people drop right now. May the obituary be announced in the next 24 hours. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord indeed fight for you. May he arise for you as the God that killeth. May he arise for you as the God to whom vengeance belongs to. And may he vindicate you. And set you free from that problem for life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, it is settled. God Almighty bless you. Please don't forget to like, share, follow, subscribe. And be a part of this family. In the name of Jesus. You will never regret it. In Jesus name. Amen. Believe you me. You will never regret it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Believe you me. Believe you me. You will never regret it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Till then, beloved, I still remain your sister, Apostle Amaka. Do have a lovely day. Bye for now.